Breaking news. There have been major changes to Social Security seniors receiving SSI and SSDI benefits will soon receive their payments through a new direct deposit system, marking a significant shift in their financial situation. Management and provide quicker, more dependable access to necessary funding. Keep up with these important advances that affect older persons who depend on these services directly. There is recent breaking news that might have a big impact on millions of Americans who depend on advantages from Social Security. A significant change to the Social Security payment structure has been announced by the agency, bringing new direct transfers for seniors receiving supplemental security income. Social Security Income, SSI, and Disability Insurance, SSDI. This momentous shift occurs after months of years of fierce congressional discussion and years of support from elder and disability rights organizations. The primary component of this new policy is the inclusion of monthly direct payments to beneficiaries' normal SSI or SSDI compensation. Although the precise amounts will vary depending on individual circumstances, these supplemental payments are intended to give some of our society's most disadvantaged citizens additional financial help. Based on preliminary calculations, they may vary from $100 to $300 a month. The higher payment frequency, which would replace the existing method of a single monthly payment with smaller, more regular deposits, is another important component of this change. This modification attempts to assist all existing SSI and SSDI claimants will automatically be eligible for these new direct payments. However, the precise amount may vary. Beneficiaries will be able to manage their budgets more efficiently and won't have to worry about extending a single payment over the course of a month. The recipient's existing benefit amount, living circumstances, other sources of income, and state of residency are some of the considerations that will determine how much of the additional payment they get. It's important to realize that these new deposits are meant to be used in addition to, not instead of, current advantages. The potential effects of this move on seniors receiving SSI are significant. For many older people, having a little extra breathing room in their budget might be the difference between straining to pay for basic requirements and fighting to make ends meet. Rising health care, housing, and food prices have severely impacted those on fixed incomes. More support might help them maintain a higher standard of living as they age. ACSDI beneficiaries, especially those with chronic disability, could also experience notable advantages. Many SSDI recipients have continuous medical costs, the price of specialist equipment, and the requirement for help with personal care. The extra money may be used to partially offset these expenses and increase one's sense of financial security. Beneficiaries have received assurances from the Social Security Administration that these new direct contributions won't impact their eligibility for other benefits. The extra payments won't be taken into account when calculating one's eligibility for other federal or state programs of assistance. The new system will be implemented in parts over the following six months, with the first phase scheduled to begin in early 2019. This design guarantees that the additional support does not unintentionally exclude users from other essential types of aid. Begin next month and concentrate on SSI beneficiaries who are 65 years of age or older. The second phase will cover SSDI claimants and begin three months later. The remaining SSI beneficiaries under 65 will be covered by the final phase, which will start in six months. To receive these additional contributions, Current recipients don't need to do anything since the Social Security Administration will automatically modify payment schedules and amounts depending on their records. The economy. The economic impact of this change in policy is a topic of discussion among specialists. Some economists contend that increasing the amount of money available to the elderly and those with disabilities might boost local economies because these populations often spend a larger proportion of their income on essentials. Despite the possibility of a multiplier impact on the economy due to the increased demand for products and services, others are concerned about the long-term effects of this increased expenditure. Some contend that it could be a factor in inflation. Would further tax an already overburdened Social Security system? The argument about the policy's economic impact is expected to go on as it is put into practice and its impacts become more apparent. Thus, it's critical to consider this shift within the the larger picture of the Social Security overhaul. Although this new direct deposit system is a big move, 
It's only one element of a bigger campaign for all-encompassing change. Proponents are still demanding that problems like the long-term solvency, revising the cost of living adjustments algorithm, and perhaps raising the taxable income ceiling for social security contributions for individuals and families nationwide, this move might have a significant impact on the Social Security Trust Fund. Influence on several individuals' everyday lives. Feel relieved and upbeat about the possible changes to their financial circumstances, such as being able to keep up with rising rent and having money set aside for unforeseen medical bills. The extra assistance may greatly enhance many people's quality of life and financial security. As this story progresses, it is important for all SSI and SSDI beneficiaries to remain informed and keep an eye out for official communications from the Social Security Administration. While this shift promises to provide relief to millions of Americans, it's crucial to note that the organization is committed to delivering frequent updates through their website, social media platforms, and direct communications to recipients. They've also established a dedicated helpline for inquiries and concerns. To have a fair-minded attitude while examining the news, the specifics are still being worked out, and it's unclear what this policy change will mean in the long run. As usual, it's best to double-check facts with government agencies and financial advisors. Advisors or social workers when deciding on financial planning and benefits. In conclusion, this enormous change in Social Security policy signifies a substantial shift in the way that the United States approaches social safety net programs. Extending greater financial assistance and making payments more often, millions of elderly and disabled people might benefit from these new direct payments, but they are only one aspect of the continuing discussion over the future. It will be critical to remain educated, involved, and aware of the wider ramifications of these developments as this tale develops regarding Social Security and its capacity to fulfill the requirements of an aging and diverse society. As we dig more into the ramifications of this radical overhaul of Social Security, it's critical to take into account the ripple effects that it may have on other facets of society, both personally and nationally. Increased funding for SSI and SSDI users may result in changes to the patterns of healthcare consumption. Beneficiaries may be more inclined to seek out preventative treatment or take better care of chronic diseases if they have more money available. Improved health results and lower long-term medical expenses, the effect on the property market, especially in places where the proportion of elderly and disabled people is large, may be significant. Some recipients might be able to continue receiving the increased money. Staying longer in their homes, thereby slowing down the trend of elderly people moving into nursing homes or assisted living facilities due to financial difficulties. This might have an impact on the demand for different kinds of housing and support services from nearby companies. A variety of businesses might profit from an increase in sales, particularly those that serve the elderly or those with disabilities. This could include pharmacies, food shops, home modification companies, and providers of mobility equipment. The more ability to spend this economic boost might be especially noteworthy for SSI and SSDI recipients in smaller cities or rural regions where they comprise a bigger share of the population. The new policy may also have an impact on families. Caregiving and its dynamics agreements with greater access to financial resources. Some beneficiaries may be able to pay for more in-home care services, which might lessen the load on family caregivers and improve both parties' mental health and general well-being. In order to facilitate the return of certain family caregivers to the workforce, financial institutions and service providers may need to modify their payment schedules for beneficiaries and their families. Financial technology, credit unions, and banks. In order to handle the more frequent deposits, businesses may need to modify their systems and services. This might result in innovations in financial services and budgeting tools catered to the needs of SSI and SSDI beneficiaries. Groups who serve elderly and people with disabilities may need to step up their educational efforts in order to assist recipients make the most of their increased income and navigate the new financial landscape.